This tutorial will show you how to create bypass codes to maintain access to your Uvic account even if the app on your mobile device or your hardware token is not available for authentication. The type of bypass code you create will differ depending on the use case, with one variety expiring in 24 hours and another having no expiration date. However, note that this process needs to be done in advance of needing the token, as you will need to authenticate with MFA to create the bypass code. If you are unable to generate a bypass code and have no other way to authenticate into your account, please contact the Computer Help Desk for assistance. Navigate to uvic.ca in a browser and log in to your account using your Netlink ID, passphrase, and Duo authentication. Note in this tutorial, I'm authenticating by approving a Duo push to my device. Once logged in, you should land in the Online Tools section. Scroll down the page to the Personal and Account Profile section and click Multi-Factor Authentication. If you haven't visited this page before, note that you can also manage your Duo mobile device or hardware token here. Scroll down to the Bypass Code section and click Manage Bypass Codes. You will need to authenticate with Duo again as you are entering a secure area of your account. You will see several options displayed. The first option is Delete all my active codes. This option can be used for instances where existing bypass codes have become compromised by a malicious actor accessing your computer or if you have misplaced a piece of paper or a notebook with your code or codes written on it. The second option is generate 10 single-use codes, no expiration date. This is the best long-term option for maintaining access to your account as there is no expiration date for these codes. However, make sure to cross off codes that have been used as each code is only good for a single authentication. The third option is generate one 24-hour multi-use code. This is a good option if you are switching to a new mobile device or know in advance you won't have access to your phone or hardware token for the day and need to log in to multiple services or add a new device to your Duo account. Note that there is no limit on the number of times the 24-hour code can be used but will expire exactly 24 hours after you generate it. For this tutorial, we will select the middle option to generate 10 single-use codes with no expiration date and will click Perform Action. You will now see the 10 codes printed on your screen. Note that these codes will only be viewable once, so it is important to copy and paste them into a separate document, take a photo or screenshot of the codes, or write them down on a piece of paper. Whichever method you choose, consider the following to make sure you maintain access to your codes. The codes should be kept in a secure location that can only be accessed by you. The codes should be stored in such a way that you can access them even if you forget your phone or hardware token at home. For example, you may want to store them in your wallet, in a secure location on your computer, such as a password protected folder or password keeper, or in a locked filing cabinet in your office. If the codes are misplaced or you lose your wallet or laptop where the codes are stored, make sure to use the Delete All Bypass Codes option to secure your account. If you're unable to delete the compromised bypass codes, the Computer Help Desk can assist you in deleting them. Also note that you can only have one set of bypass codes generated at a time if you create a new bypass code for your account in future or get a temporary bypass code from the computer help desk, this will overwrite your old code. To authenticate using the bypass code, follow these steps. First, log in to uvic.ca using your Netlink ID and passphrase. If your MFA account is configured to automatically push to your device, 
click Other Options at the bottom of the Duo Authentication screen. Then, in the Authentication Options screen, click Bypass Code, enter a code from your IT Help Desk. Type in your nine-digit bypass code and click Verify. If this is a personal device, click Yes, this is my device to store the authentication token for seven days. You should now be successfully logged into your UVIC account. If you experience any issues with these instructions, please contact the Computer Help Desk for assistance.